Hi guys, I'm going to show you today how I like to organize my good and beautiful science units. Um, the science units are not bound when they come to you. You're basically going to get a packet of loose pages like this. Well, it's shrink wrapped into a nice little bundle. But the reason why they come like this instead of bound like the other courses is because you're going to want to cut up some of the pages into little mini books. You're going to cut some of them into vocabulary cards and hang those up on your science ball. And there's going to be some pages you want to make copies of for each student. So it does come like this when you order your science and it really just takes a matter of, I don't know, maybe an hour to put together. And then it's just open and go after that. So right now we're just finishing up space science, my family is. And I'm using it with a four-year-old, six-year-old, eight-year-old, and ten-year-old. And I put them in this um, plastic bin, and it's just the right size for these studies. Um, Jenny had these at the convention. Jenny Phillips had them at her convention last summer, and I thought it was such a good idea. So what I do is I took the first page out of my packet, and I put it in the front of the binder. And I, I don't know, I'm kind of funny, but I made a copy of it, a color copy, and I just cut out the space science to put it on the binder so that we can just have all of our science units. And I'm going to save them, and I'm going to use it again. When we're done with the rest of the science courses, we're going to do it again. So what I did is I took the packet, and I put each page that would be part of the course and put it in one of these, what do you call it? A page protector. <laughs> So I put each page in a page protector. Um, one awesome thing about having it like this is I took on the supplies needed list, I took and was marking off like some things I already had. So I already had chalk, so I marked that off. I have cups, I have blank sheet of paper, I have a pencil, cardstock, and so on. I had all those things, and so I put all, everything we were going to need for our entire course and stuck it in here. That made it so easy. And then I knew which things I needed to buy. Like I knew I was gonna need to buy some Milky Ways. I knew I was gonna need to buy some of this. Anyway, so then I could just go through and as I bought them and put them in the box, then I could just erase them. You know, it's probably better to use an eraser, but easy peasy. So that I could have everything. <laughs> Hi, bud. So he is dying to make these little um, telescopes or whatever we're going to make out of these that we haven't gotten to that lesson yet. So some of the pages have vocabulary cards like you saw in this water one. That's This is the one I let the kids choose what they want to do. They were super excited about space science in August so we started that. Now they want to do water in our world as soon as we finish so we're going to do that next. I like letting them choose because then they're excited to learn about it and it's not pulling teeth. So I take the vocabulary pages when there's still a whole page and I run them through the laminator and then I cut them out and then they're n nice and laminated. The paper's already really good coated glossy paper so it's really good but I, like I said I want to keep using this you know in a couple of years when we finish all of the science units I want to go again. You excited to do a science project? <laughs> okay, so I laminate them and then we have some like poster putty in here. <laughs> That's real pretty, right? That we stick up the vocabulary words up on the wall as soon as we learn them. The other thing I laminated for this course were the planet cards. And the kids like to get these out when we start the lesson and lay them out in the order. You know. Can I show them? Sure, you can show us how the planets go. And then um, there were a couple of things. Oh, here's another one that I just cut out. Um, kind of a little game that you get to put all the Milky Way facts on there. It has beautiful full color pictures. And when I put it all together like this, then I literally can just open the box in the morning. We do science on Mondays and Wednesdays together as a family. And we do our morning devotional first, and then we do science on Monday and Wednesday. On Tuesday and Thursday, we do history. I can show you that in another video. So it's literally open the box, open it to, you know, I keep a little sticky note and to the page we're on. Oh, the other thing I was going to show you is 
throughout the course, there's these super cute little doo -doo 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 mini books. So that's another reason why these are not bound when they come in the mail. These mini books is just basically a page that you cut in half. And then I got, uh, I got a nice stapler because my little wimpy $2 stapler from the dollar store just, or maybe dollar stapler, <laughs> just wasn't doing the job. So I got a nice heavy duty stapler. And this is, I think, only eight or 10 pages each, but it is kind of thick, good paper. Oh, that one's seven pages plus, so Where's yeah, eight shelf, pages total. Huh? Are those all the planets? Mm -hmm. Good job. Alrighty, so I just like to keep the mini book in another page protector. Sorry. Oh, can you put that in here for me, bud? You want to look at it? Okay, you can look at it. <laughs> See, I love that they want to learn these things. So I just keep it in a page protector in the course. So at the beginning, it's going to say we're going to need the mini book, The Sun. I don't need to assemble it because I already did before I ever got started. It says to print out certain things. So I had that all printed and ready to go so that when we got to this lesson, we just read what it says to read. Yeah, you can show me in just a minute. And then, and then it's going to have the mini book in here. And it just tells you, read to the children, what kind of activities to do. And I have everything ready to go. Okay, what did you want to show us? The giant and the, the little one and the other little one. Mm -hmm. And one like the crumb and another and these two are the crumbs and these are one t a little too. Yeah. And this one is a giant. Yeah, is that our sun? Mm-hmm. Is the sun bigger or smaller than our planet? Bigger. Yeah, way bigger. Huh? That's amazing. Thanks for showing us. Alright, so that's how I do our science. And we can just keep it all put together in one box, ready to go. I'm going to do the same thing with our next science unit, Water in Our World. I'll go through, find the supplies I'm going to need. I can just mark them off, put everything that I have in the box. Everything else that I'll need, I can get it ahead of time, put it in the box. So I really don't have to prepare. I will... What is this one, Mama? What, what is this? That's the sun. I will laminate the these vocabulary words. This is the sun. Thank you. I'll laminate these vocabulary words and put those in this sheet protector. So everything's ready to go. I love the science units. This we love doing another, science together. This is a, the other sun. Thank you, bud. We love doing the science together. I love how all of us can learn together. I'm learning so much. I'm feeling like... Where was I when my teachers were teaching me science when I was a kid because I didn't know this stuff? <laughs> so I am really, really enjoying learning and with this them. This is a beautiful day. This is a beautiful day. Hey, thank you. Want to tell everybody bye? Bye.